apart from moving in a straight line. Time t seconds after pointing through zero on the line. So that's O. Displacement is given by this. Okay, and x and distance is from O is x. First part, I find the velocity and acceleration of P. Well, I've got x equals 0 0.06 t cubed minus 0 0.45 t squared minus 0.24 t. So velocity equals dx by dt, which equals 3 times that, that'll be 0 0.18 t squared minus 0 0.9 t minus 0.24 and when t equals naught velocity equals naught naught minus 0 0.24 meters per second that's velocity and the acceleration equals dv by dt which equals 2 times 80 is 0 0.36 t minus 0 0.9 and when t equals naught acceleration equals minus 0 0.9 meters per second squared that's done the first bit but two six marks for that value of x when p has its minimum velocity it's got its minimum velocity and we'll work out speed not the velocity the speed at that instant so the minimum velocity that means acceleration is going to be zero so um so i put down for min value or min velocity uh, dv by dt will equal zero and we just work that out here so 0 0.36 t minus 0 0.9 equals zero so that says that 0 0.36 t equals 0 0.9 t therefore equals 2.5 and so velocity equals where's my formula here 0 0.18 times by 2.5 squared minus 0 0.9 times by 2.5 minus 0 0.24 and so that equals minus 1.365 meters per second but that's the velocity therefore speed equals 1.365 be really careful about that because they would you would have dropped one mark if you hadn't put down the speed part three find the positive value of t which are the hints and maybe a negative value when the direction of motion of p changes and that is so i need to find the when the velocity is zero because that will be on the cusp so we need to direction of motion uh, changes means find when velocity equals zero so i've got 0.18 t squared minus 0.9 t minus 0.24 equals zero hopefully they might factorize i am times through by 100 just to try and make it a bit easier three goes into all of that so 6 t squared minus 30t minus 8 equals 0 and uh, try and factorize that um, and it's going to be 8 so it's going to be 1 this will equal 0 1 and 8 or 2 and 4 to get 6 it's got to be 1 and 6 or 2 and 3 so times these together 6 times 8 48 no 6 4 is 24 no 3 8 is 24 2 no something what don't think it's going to factorize so therefore i'm going to use the formula so t equals minus b so it's 30 plus or minus square root of negative 30 squared so i just put down 30 squared minus 4 times a which is 6 times c which is negative 8 all over 2 times 6 put it into a calculator that gives me t equals 5.2 five three seven eight five or negative 0 0.2537 it obviously can't be that because it said it had to be a positive value therefore 
t equals 5.25 to three significant figures. And that's question six done.